In this mini tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the world of ICC color management from the perspective of our standard interaction in workflows and inside of our usual applications. Let's start by cracking all the abbreviations. You've heard the term CMS, I'm sure. It stands for Color Management System and refers to a system that manages the color throughout your workflow. A CMS can encompass all of these devices and more. Here we have some of the popular input devices, such as a scanner, a digital camera, and older files or stock art on CDs. Each of these input devices operates within or produces its own color gamut. A gamut refers to the range of colors that a device is capable of producing. Now the assets that you get from these devices could be either in the RGB or the CMYK formats. These are then displayed on your monitor, which is another RGB device, and features its own color range or gamut. Then we have various kinds of output devices, which could be desktop printers, proofers, and printing presses. With the exception of RGB inkjets and photographic printers, most of the output devices tend to produce CMYK output using four or more inks. Each of these printers also operates within a color range that's unique to itself. Now you're starting to see the problem. That is, no two devices in our workflow produce the exact same color. It's because they all operate within different color gamuts. Besides this, there are many other variables that come into play, like the kind of media used, inks, light sources, and all other kinds of limitations. In 1993, a group of companies that were involved with color imaging came together to try and work out a solution to this problem, and they formed the ICC Group, which stands for the International Color Consortium. Their goal was to set color standards and to solve some of these problems for all of us frustrated end users. So the ICC endorsed an open framework for developing color management systems. At the heart of this would be an interpreter of sorts, sort of like a language interpreter at the UN. And this interpreter would understand and then translate the unique color values when converting from one color space to another. This would allow the CMS to compare, for instance, the gamut in which a color was created to the gamut that the color will be output to. And along the way, the CMS would make all the necessary adjustments so that the final color is consistent in appearance to the original.